Here we are again then. Welcome back to Song of Horror, this time for part four as we continue episode two, Eerily Quiet. So, I've actually got the doorman's keys now, and if we take a look at the map, it seems there's quite a few doors we have yet to unlock. There's the three to the west side, and I suppose there's a couple in the courtyard, which they might open. Uh, there's one down in the basement, of course. Right, yeah. Let's try one of them. Let's go this way, shall we? I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to try the three... Well, actually... I guess let's try the basement first, so let's go this way. Alright. My heartbeat is going, my controller is vibrating, I'm not entirely sure why. I mean, I know why, but <laughs> why now specifically? Right, let's see. What does it sound like? Sounds fairly reasonable. So, let's see. Do you have access to the basement? Mm -hmm. You do! Okay, fantastic! We're going in. Alright. Okay, a couple of doors there. What else? Anything else? Okay, no, there's a door in the foreground as well, just behind the camera, it looks like. Let's see. Let's maybe start here. It sounds okay. I mean, I'm hearing things, but not from beyond the door. Okay, that's the storage rooms. The door is locked. Okay. Is it gonna work? No, that doesn't seem to be the right one. Okay. Um, what about this one over here? Okay. Right. So, what's this? Oh, that looks like an axe to me. Please pick it up. Oh, no, no, pick the axe up! No! <laughs> what's this? The electricity meter. Some neighbours have already been caught stealing someone else's electricity. Goodness. Yes. We got ourselves a wrench. An adjustable wrench. A very common tool. Seems handy. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. For what? I'm not sure, but okay, great. Anything else? Right. Over here? So they did. It's a blank end of shift report. No, 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 hang on. Damn, Walter. What the hell have you done? I found traces of mud on the stairs to block four which lead down to the window on the first floor. I know it was you. Plus, you ruined the handle on the window. Have you gone mad? I've informed the building handyman so that he can fix it as soon as possible. I don't know what the hell is up with that girl and I don't really give a damn. Stop screwing around and start behaving yourself. It may turn out she's not hysterical, as you claim, but rather that you're one big weirdo. This is the last time I'm putting my ass on the line for you. Okay. Um, sure. That wouldn't happen to be about the open window that seems to be next to the shed, which has also got some sort of open hatch on the roof. Okay. Uh, right, so... I. I don't know if there's anything else around here. Okay. One more door to try. This one here. Let's listen. Oh! Well, I don't need to listen. Holy shit. Okay! That's that's not gonna happen. No. No. Screw it. Never mind. <laughs> the door might be unlocked, it might be available, but not right now, obviously, so I'll come back later. Holy shit. Um, okay. So let's go to my original plan, I suppose, now. Let's go this way, back through the shop. Um, and on the way to the courtyard, there's those three locked doors. Uh, I do actually have the crank handle. Well, let's see. It should fit, right? Seems to. I don't know if that was wise, considering what I saw on the monitor, though. Can we have a look again? It's not hiding under one of the tables, is it? I don't see anything. Which is quite alarming. 
the room is empty. I don't know what else I was expecting. Oh, something horrifying. Definitely something horrifying. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to go in there right now, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it off. <laughs> I mean, I've got the uh, I've got the doorman's keys. I think I know where they go. So let's try and use them. Okay, so I think it's these three here, right? Yeah. Okay. So again, before even unlocking it, sounds fine. Right. Uh -huh. Works like a charm. And we're going in. Okay, so what am I going to find around here? We've got some folders. More business documents. They're going to need Sherlock Holmes to make sense of it all, apparently. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. This is one of the antique floor mirrors we've got on display, but it's covered with a blanket. Right. Ah. Why is this covered? Should I take the blanket off? Oh, why do you ask me these really hard questions? <laughs> No. What's the best that can happen? Do I need a mirror? It's not going to be another coin, is it? It's going to be a very big coin if that's the case. See, I'm very, very tentative with these sort of choices because I know what happens, like, for instance, if you have a look in the sink in episode one. I think it may have been Gab Smolder's video, but yeah, that decision did not end up going well for her. So, yeah, I want to avoid any situations like that. Right, so next door, what do we got? A very quiet room. One might even say eerily quiet. Right. Magic. Okay. A harp. Can we have a little play? Oh, hang on. There's a document down here, I think. Uh, letter two. Okay. Isaac, I'm afraid it's too late. I've heard the melody. Catherine and the children have two. Just once. Nothing will happen to them, will it? Dear God, that melody. Something's different inside my head. It's made me see things I don't understand. Things I would rather not continue seeing. I'm so sorry, Isaac, but I feel forced to send the music box back to you. I'll keep researching it, but I don't want to have it anywhere near me. I must think of my family. Please take care of yourself and forgive my lack of courage. Sebastian P. Husher. Well, I guess that's all it takes. Just one little tune. Hmm, okay. Uh, I think there's a safe there, but yeah, okay. It looks like we're kind of done with this room, so there's one more to go. And then, if I don't throw away the key, I guess there's a couple in the courtyard that I could try, right? So, let's see. Good so far. Good. Worked like a charm, and I'm keeping hold of the key, so... Obviously, it's going to unlock another door. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. All right, okay. Uh, oh. Yeah, this is very, very tricky. I'm shitting bricks right now. Oh, that was pretty good, right? That was pretty good. Yeah, you're gonna leave. Oh my god, I need to. I need to get a better controller or better triggers on this controller. Fucking hell. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, what's this? Hang on. No. Does that happen every time he emerges? I guess so. Is there a cassette tape down there in the foreground? Ah, oh, I can have a look as well. Go on. Oh, by Dad, it looks like. I had another nightmare last night. I was lying in bed and I felt something staring at me from the corner of the bedroom. I knew that there was something there, something very real. But I didn't dare turn on the light because I didn't want to see whatever it was. I was afraid, afraid.
afraid of going mad if I did. So, perhaps in a rush of panic, courage or folly, I turned on the light and woke up. I got out of bed and went to the bathroom to wash my face, attempting to lift away the heavy feeling of something pressing on my chest. Then I saw my reflection in the mirror. The face looking back at me was grotesque. It was deformed and changed color, and it was jolting about with despair. It was banging against the glass time and again, trying to warn me or to escape the place it was in. It seemed as if it was screaming, but I couldn't hear anything. The scene was so horrific that, well, I woke up again. I was inside the bathroom, standing before the shattered mirror. Right. That was not the accent I had picked out for him in my head, you know? <laughs> a lot of people's accents in this game are just sort of strange. They're a little bit odd. Anyway, it looks like we've got what A, B, and C up here, and it looks like there's actually a note on door A, so let's have a look at the note. Uh, it's a note from me. To me. <laughs> it's a reminder for me now. Um, right, so... Father, I kept a copy of the key to the house in the display case in the showroom inside the Chinese puzzle. I would have left it at the store for you, but I don't trust the doorman. Uh, I have provided you with a reminder of the combination on the back of this note, in a somewhat cryptic form. Why'd you do that? <laughs> anyway, just in case this falls into indiscreet hands, I see. A big hug from me. Here we are then. Roman numerals, eh? So from left to right, it looks like we got 8, 5, 14. 2, 11. The sixth wheel, I can't write it in Roman numerals. Walter, if you're reading this, take a hike. Okay. <sighs> Got a smiley face at the end there. Uh, is anyone else thinking it might be XXX for 30? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. What does that say? Be punk. Yeah, be punk. Says Erica. Okay. <laughs> sure. Right. So, I, I take it I'm not actually going to have any luck here, but... I mean, I'm going to try. Mm -mm. Okay. He doesn't have a doorbell. Right. So, the, the doorman's keys, they don't work? Mm -mm. Doesn't fit. Not the right key. Okay, well, what about to uh, rooms B and C, or flats B and C? Sounds cool. Nope. But, okay, this one's blocked, so yeah, that's not gonna happen. Alright. Mm -mm. Won't budge, there's no way. Absolutely not, not according to this. Okay, well, yeah, alright, so there's a Chinese puzzle in a display case in the showroom. I don't remember seeing... Oh, well, I, it, it could be in the gallery. Is that what you mean? That's the showroom? I guess so. And there are a lot of display cases in there, as I've seen on the monitor, so... Yay! <laughs> I guess we go in there. Um, Not straight away, though. Because, you know, I'm still kind of curious about the doorman's keys and what else I can unlock, so... Let's go back out to the courtyard. This is a really, really big map, actually. I mean, just check this out. You can actually see the outline of how big this is going to get. Goodness gracious me. And, I mean, you know, there's different floors as well. Underground, first floor, second floor. This is crazy. This is actually bigger than the first chapter, I think. The first episode. So... Just to confirm, was it two? Okay, yeah, one was blocked, but two needs a key. Sounds great. Sounds fantastic. Okay, I won't need the key anymore. Okay, fair enough. Oh, well, that's interesting. So, it can open two, but it can't open, what, four? Near the shed? Or the shed itself? All right, well, we're in. Okay, what have we got here? Notices for the neighbors in block two. They look a bit old. The neighbors on the notices. Uh... Okay. Man, there was already, you know, uh, quite a few doors. <laughs> Looks like I can't actually get to this one. And my god, can I can't turn around. 
There's no uh, there's no control to like do a 180 turn in this game. It seems, which is maybe its only real issue, in my opinion. Nope. I need to find the key. It needs a key, really? Okay. Uh, what about this one here? I can't listen to it. Uh. Okay. What about D? Mm -mm. Nothing. It's locked. Okay. Well, I, I probably have no business going in any of them, but. I don't know, maybe I can find a master key or something? I can't see a thing with this rain. Hmm. What did that note say? Uh, which one was it? Th this one, I think, on the back. I found traces of mud on the stairs to block four. Okay. I don't think this is the... this is the one. No. Okay, A, B, C, and D again. Uh, I guess let's try them all. Surely I'm not going to find the keys for all of these flats. Nope. I think it's quite telling that I can't listen on the doors, probably meaning that I won't be able to get through. Or at least I kind of hope not. <laughs> I mean, I do actually want to kind of complete this episode this year. I don't need any more excitement. No, I don't. I really don't. Okay, floor three, A, B, C, and D again. Uh. Nope. Mm hmm, okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, one of these doors might surprise me, you know? So that's why I'm checking. How many floors have we got? Oh my, okay, it looks like this is going to be the top. And what's out the window? I must have gotten used to this, but all my friends get scared here at night. Well, you know what? I'm starting to as well. Funny that. Okay, so four A, B, C, and D. Let's check them out. Oh. Nothing. It's locked. What a surprise. Mm -mm. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -mm. I need to find the key. And D. Yes. Nothing. Okay. And there's nothing over here on the landing? Just me. Alright. Well, that was, uh... That was something, I guess. Um, so have I just got... <laughs> four floors of keys needed, it looks like. You know, it actually looks like I can go through that door. But there was something in the way. Wasn't there like a tricycle in the way or something? Okay. <laughs> I keep getting nervous, wondering if something's going to appear when the camera changes. Right. Yeah, I don't think I can move this out of the way, can I? Oh, man. Oh, no wonder I can't. There's a basketball blocking the wheel. Oh, well. If only there was more I could do. But there's not, so I'm leaving. Okay, well, I mean... I've got message one. Presumably I'm going to get message two at some point. I'm actually wondering if they might be the new collectible for this episode. I guess I'll need to find uh, some more coins. Adjustable wrench, hydrogen peroxide, spray bottle. They can't be combined together, can they? I, to be honest, I think at this point what we've got to do is we've got to go to the gallery. I've got it open now, and there's, I think, some sort of Chinese puzzle in there, so let's take a look. Why? Why are you freaking out? I'm freaking out because you're freaking out. I'm hearing shit, but not, not through the door, thankfully. Yikes. Right. I'm just going to walk away slowly. With my lighter out, though. Lit. There we are. Okay. Whatever that was, whatever thing activated, it stopped. Pretend it didn't happen. Oh, that's right. The doors are robust. This isn't going to work. I'm just going to have to go in. Okay. 
Okay, so is this a closed off room? Yep, the exhibit room is a closed off room. So let's take a look at these display cases. I'm going to find a Chinese puzzle, I think. Uh, not there. What's this? Mum's favourite items. They're not for sale. Okay, she seems like an interesting woman. Hey, look at those coins. Can I maybe borrow one? Okay. Again, not really what I'm looking for. Roman coins. Okay. <laughs> I just want to see what can fit into um, Coltar, you know? What's this? I stored my puzzle. Oh, is this it? Yeah, yeah. Let's hope I remember it. Okay. Okay, so we got six wheels. That makes sense. Uh, oh, look at that. How convenient. So, 8, 5, uh, well, uh, I'm just wondering how I'm going to do 14. Is there a 14 on this wheel? Okay, hang on. 8, 5... There's an A. Okay, is A 10? 11? Mm, maybe. Well, I mean, yeah. Let's assume that's the case, okay? So, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, right? And that's what it was. It was 14. So, the fourth wheel, you want two. That's easy enough. And then the fifth wheel is 11, so... B, I guess, right? And then the sixth wheel, I can't write it in Roman numerals. It could be... E Zero. You can't write zero in Roman numerals. There you go. Okay, I thought it would be a slightly saucier version, but anyway, cylinder box puzzle, this is it. Uh, it's divided into several ring-shaped compartments, and it looks like the green line that's going to be running from one end to the other isn't running from one end to the other, so... Huh. <sighs> Just in case that Walter Perv dropped by, but the rings are stuck. Uh, could you maybe use hydrogen peroxide? <laughs> Would that work? Mm -mm. Try as I may, I can't think of a way. No, that was that was a silly idea. Uh, so they're stuck. Um, I mean, maybe it just needs some force. Nope. No. Okay. I don't really know what the wrench is for, honestly. Uh, let's take a look at it again. It does look. I don't know. A little bit sort of dirty. Or maybe it doesn't, actually. I, I don't know. Hmm. Yes. Oh, ah! Here we are. The lid's missing. That's why the damn rings wouldn't budge. There you go. So I need to find the lid? If I find the lid that goes on that end, I'll be able to turn the rings. Until then, there's not much I can do. So, okay, I'm just going to leave that with me. Well, let's just look at the map here. I mean, I I guess maybe I should go to the mirror. Because I'm not seeing too much else I can interact with. There's the Coltar machine, but I don't have a coin. There's the... Uh, oh, there's that thing in the back room. Like, over there. Let's check that out. I can't remember exactly what that needed. Was that a key issue? I'm very happy to say that I actually went in there and lived. <laughs> Never again. Never again. <gasps> God damn. You see, I'm so on edge with this game that even something as stupid and as simple as that works. And it works really remarkably well. Let's see. How do you turn that shit? Oh, okay, well... Yeah, I think a wrench would actually work here, you know? Hey! Yeah! What? Ah. Oh. The house key's in there. Yep, okay. A copper key. Yep. Uh, fantastic. What does that say? It actually says Farber on it. There you go. <laughs> key to Dad's place. As old as his taste. Sure. We've still got the wrench too, right? Yeah, we're going to take that with us. 
locks already broken. There's nothing in the drawer, or nothing else in the drawer. Okay, so that's fantastic. Uh, yeah. Let's leave the mirror where it is, I suppose. Let's see if we can use the key. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ! Christ, I've got to get moving! Yes, you do, you do! Go, 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 go! Christ, I can't get it open! Okay. Well, okay, yeah, 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 yeah! Oh my god, you're not very strong, are you? Goodness. That was so close to being opened. Jesus, I thought I could leave, but evidently not. Right, Christ, oh. If it had opened, I don't even want to think about it. No, okay, we're just going to leave that area alone. Is there anything on the other side of this door? There shouldn't be. I could just hear my heartbeat. Oh my god. Okay, alright. So, um, <laughs> uh, well, I guess I won't be going back to that corridor. Let's just try all the other doors, shall we? Four, right? Mm -mm. Oh, no, that doesn't seem to be the right one. I didn't think it would be. Uh, still the matter of getting into the shed. Where, where else? I mean, there's all those locked doors in block two, right? Oh. They're not shown as locked anymore, actually. Fair enough, yeah. I, I didn't think I needed to get in them, to be perfectly honest with you. I, yeah, the interior flats, that's where I want to go. Maybe the presence is gone. Maybe it's safe to go back in. It certainly wouldn't have been safe if I tried that door right then and there. can't even listen. Why can't I listen? Because she knows in her heart of hearts there's not going to be a problem. Right, so. Should be A. This door right at the end. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just that one door, and I won't need the key anymore. Oh, God. Every time I see a cutscene, seriously, I think there's a death incoming. Wow, okay. It's going to be a pretty big place, then. Christ, something's wrong. Dad, where in the world have you gone? Really sure. What's with the Blair Witch stuff hanging from the ceiling exactly? Huh, Daddy, are you here? Maybe. In what condition? I'm not sure. Okay, it looks like we've got an opening in a wall to the west <laughs> and a door right in front of me. Does this work? Well, let's find out. Kept her alive quite a long time. I'm quite proud of myself, honestly, but I feel the end is near. Sounds good. Right. More smashed mirrors. Right. Wow, look at all this stuff. Is that a Ouija board? Oh, do I even want to look at this? This is just pure desperation. A Ouija board. Thankfully, I can't play around with it. I'm not going to get a weird choice. Uh... Okay, Dad hardly drinks, and he's certainly not religious. What the hell is he looking for? Another shattered mirror. This can't be a coincidence. What's this? Circle piece. A wooden... All right. Oh. Oh. That... That isn't to do with this, is it? Yes! Oh, okay, we're going to do this now? I guess we could probably do this now. Um, okay, just like the six wheels, we've got six rings to turn. Can't turn that one. Oh no, hang on, maybe I was... Oh shit, okay, so I can't turn them on the left, but I can turn that one, and that turns that. That's a bugger. Um... Oh jeez. 
That one spins by itself. That one spins that. And, oh man, that one. That one sucks. <laughs> um, okay, so that's lined up. That, I think, is lined up. Yeah. Um, well, hang on, that's going to need to come down a little bit, right? Oh, but that's not synced up now. So, I think it just needs one turn. So now we just need to match up everything again. Because that one on the left isn't going to turn. So, okay, uh, this is doable. It's definitely doable. So, yeah, that's that's fine. Wait, no, I had it there. There you go, that's lining up. Now we just need to pull this down until it matches and everything should be linked up. That looks fine to me. Check it. Hey, there we go. So... Hang on, what's this? Hey, Cthulhu, nice. A keychain with two keys and a peculiar ornament. <laughs> I, I, I love my keychain. I bet you do. All right. Well, um, I guess they're going to be the keys to the drawer I just tried outside in the courtyard. I'll be using those later. Anything else here, though? I mean, it looks like there's loads more here. Books on theology, history and mythology of religions. Hmm. What's up with the bed? He set the bed on fire. Is this some kind of sick joke? <laughs> Did he try and destroy the box or something? Tranquilizers. Damn. Okay. What else? Oh. Oh, maybe somewhere to hide? Yeah. Most wardrobes in this game do seem quite empty. I'm glad to say. Black answer. What's that? What Hang on. The hell? Oh, it's getting freezing. What the fuck? God damn, this is new. Okay, shall I hide? N no? What do I do? What's I got... going on? I don't know. I really don't. I... Oh, shit. Why isn't this working? Hide, hide. Ah, fuck. I don't want to try the door, though. This could, this could be like a trap. Fuck, my lighter just won't turn back on. Should have brought a flashlight. Christ. It was getting harder and harder to breathe. Okay. Oh, now it bloody works. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I want to get out of this room. But there's something down here. Right, what is this? Oh, another one. All right, let's listen. Erica, I hope you are the one to find this, my daughter. Well, I didn't I die, so I am. A few problems. Oh, shit! Christ, I've got to get moving! Yes, yes you do. Go, go. No, actually, what the fuck am I doing? There's... Alright, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, because there's something, there's somewhere to hide in the wardrobe, right? Get there. Get to the wardrobe. I've got to find a hiding place. Now! I get it. I do. I do. And there's one right here. I fucking hate this room. I hate this apartment. I hate this flat. Fuck this place. Oh, she's listening to music. That's right. That's her item. Oh shit, here we go. Her serenity's pretty good, right? Okay, she's keeping it she's keeping it cool. Uh, they always throw in one like that to test you, I think. Or two, maybe. Oh, come on. I haven't made a mistake yet. Come on. That's good, right? That's great. Yeah. Right. Well played. 
<laughs> if this is a dream, somebody wake me up already. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just want to leave the room. W would this door be okay? I don't know. <sighs> I think this is where it was emanating from, but it seems like it's gone, so... <sighs> Oh, this is the dark room area. Okay. Okay, magnesium flash cameras. Dangerous little thing, apparently. Got some photos. What the hell? <laughs> uh, okay. Sure. What's this? One of Dad's little experiments. I hope he knows what he's doing. I oh, what's this? Nope. Some of the ingredients are missing. Oh. Ingredients, you say? This could be one of them. And and something else might have to go in there. That might be another one. Can I use this? Uh, okay, I guess we're still looking for stuff. What's that? More photos, eh? Oh, man. Nice shadow of nothing there. Cool. Well, this is alarming. I think most of these are actually taken around this area, too. Ah, oh, great. This is where we develop the pictures we take with our antique cameras. I still have a lot to learn. Right. Um, okay. Right, yeah, so I've got that noted down. There's a puzzle in the darkroom, and it looks like there's three more doors to... Well, at least three more doors to check. Then there's another one in the lobby. But I think for the meantime, at least, we're done here. I, uh... I'll come back later. Okay. This one over here. Cool. It's good enough for me. And apparently it's good enough for her. Oh man, more leaks. Okay. Uh, another smashed mirror. What the hell, Dad? Oh no, it's covered in dust. I don't get it. What's going on with you, Dad? Alright, <laughs> I don't have to do anything weird with the bath. There's no water in it, you know, so. Yeah, I heard something there, and uh, so did she, because my heartbeat's going. Just leave. Just leave. Okay. Two more doors to try, and uh, a couple of photos, it looks like. Right. Right. Oh, did I just hear something? Did I hear something? I, I thought I heard a knock. Maybe it was her on this side of the door, but... Ah, oh, shit. I kind of wish I could quick save before every door animation, you know? Hmm. Lovely sort of walk-in shower here, but... I, uh... I'm wearing my raincoat. I don't want to use it right now. I think that's kind of it, to be honest. Okay. Not much to see in there. So, one final door in this corridor. No. No, 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 no. I don't think so. I, I hear something. What the... I'm seeing things too. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's the uh, there's the door across. Let's maybe try that one instead. Nooses, eh? Okay. Was it just in that corridor? I think maybe it was just in that corridor. Can we try this? I think so. Right. Was it the nooses that I was hearing when I was listening to that door at the end? It could have been. I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to go back and have a look. What's this? An ultraviolet lamp to examine that painting, if you can even call it that. But why? Why? No. Oh. Should I grab the light bulb? A UV light bulb. I want to say yes, but maybe not now. We've got the painting down here. Where did it come from? Why is it so important? Well. I don't know, but I guess the UV lamp's not the answer, because I don't see anything too odd about it, you know, aside from the eyes. 
Um, something down there. You just unplugging it. Okay. Well, you know, if I'm going to take the bulb out, safety first, right? I'm not going to grab it quite yet, though. Oh, just out of interest, what does this painting look like in the darkness? Maybe there's something there. Right. Can I? Okay. Oh, I can! Oh, come on. I hope one of these characters eventually is going to be a pianist and actually do Moonlight Sinatra or something. I don't know. Okay. Nothing on the television. I'm ignoring that noise because it's alarming me. Um, I miss you so much. Yeah. Cups have gathered some dust. I can't believe it. Dad is constantly cleaning. Yeah. Well, not anymore. What? what? Hang on, what's going on? Okay, something is definitely going on. I will read letter three a little later on. What's going on? Seriously. Okay. Is this like, a, you know, when I was freezing? Are we safe here? I don't know if I'm safe here. Oh, gee, oh, Christ, I'm not safe. Calm the fuck down. Just stand here in the dark. You know what, actually? Put the light back on. Can you do that? No? Oh, come on. Why is that not a thing? That is not a thing. Hey, you know what? This actually might calm you down. And strangely enough, it did. I don't think this pauses the game or anything, but my heart rate just kind of settled as soon as I looked at this. Dear Isaac, I hope you're feeling better, or at least a bit more calm. I know now who made the box, but he died years ago. His name was Argos Legrand. As soon as I find out more, I'll let you know. I believe the key lies in returning the box. If you have the list from the auction at which you purchased it, you can surely locate the former owner. I think things have improved since I sent it back to you. Yes, I'm positive. I hope everything's going well. Sebastian P. Usher. Nothing on the back. Okay, there's a newspaper here too. Uh-huh, okay. And, uh, let's see. Where does this go? To the Room of Serene Silence. Okay. Alright. What have we got? The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Huge spice fanatic, apparently. Dishes are clean, covered in dust. What have we got on the top here? Coffee and tea for the entire nation. <laughs> hmm. What's this? An old shopping list? So we got to get some bread, some eggs, some music boxes, some milk, and... No. Nope. Instructions on keys. Dear daughter, I have tried to arrange the keys for you. So, the ones on the right-hand column are old keys. I need to keep them just in case. The coloured metal keys are the, the security door to the shop and the locks. The square gold keys and the black plastic keys are all for devices and apparatuses in the shop. The round and triangular silver keys are the copies you made for the old display cases. The round green plastic key is for your motorcycle and the red triangular plastic key is for the safe. The small gold key is for the little box with your mother's things. The other three are for the storage rooms and warehouses where we keep the lots of antiques. Okay. So it's just going to be a process of elimination by the looks of it. I, I assume I'm going to need the other three at the bottom. Yeah, thanks for nothing, Daddy. Nothing else on the back. Right, well, that's a very obscure way of telling me what I need. Hey, what's this? Pet food. A box of dead cockroaches. What the fuck? Okay, this is what I feed my pets. What? What have you got? <laughs> well, I mean... Maybe we're going to find out at some point, right? I mean, I've got the keys. I have to find out, yeah. Well... Ah, uh, shit. I, I don't think I'm going to find him alive. That's my problem. Huh? Oh, no. Wait. What's going on in here? Let's just leave. What's Whatever's going on isn't happening in this room, right? What's going on? It might be. You know what? Do Take, take the UV light, Bob, that's right, yep. See ya. I wouldn't want to fucking be ya. Oh, come on, you can't block me in here. 
I got places to be, things to do. That wasn't even slightly normal. No, it wasn't. How do I get the presents to go away? Is there some sort of shamanistic ritual I can do? Maybe I can throw the dead cockroaches at it? Play the piano, maybe. Shit. Is it still there? Again, like I said in episode one, they could be really, really quiet. They're just pretending. Oh, fuck. Go through. Oh, my God. How have you lived so long, Erica? Seriously, you're so much better than Sophie. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. So, are we done here? I mean, I, I don't think I've got all the necessary stuff for the dark room. There's somewhere to hide in the bedroom. Can't get to the other interior flats, right? Dining room, kitchen. What What's going on over there? There's some sort of mystery? There's some question mark there. I, I don't even know what that question mark's about, to be honest, at the bottom. Um, it's time to go, I think. And I think maybe it's time to try my place. Because I've got my keys, right? Ah, oh, man, this game. <laughs> this game is so good. I really do like the slow build of dread and atmosphere and this ongoing sense that something's wrong, there's tension in the air. And then, of course, the payoffs. I haven't actually been disappointed with the payoff yet. And it just keeps on changing it up, too. It's actually quite nice to be outside. I mean, aside from the mannequin falling down, it feels like I'm safer out here. Okay, so, let's try this. Work like a charm. And I'm keeping hold of the keys. Let's listen. Okay, no, sounds good. I wonder if perhaps I can get to that window and get into the shed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is block four, and that's what was mentioned on that, you know, sort of uh, that note that we found in the bin, right? So, let's see. No notices for me, thank God. <laughs> that's alright, I don't think we'll be lingering around too long. Uh, I'm not the only one who smokes there, no. Abe, okay, same sort of thing. Well, I... I guess, you know, one of these is going to be mine? Did she say earlier? Like, which one it was? If so, I've forgotten. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm hoping she's going to say something different, like, Oh, no, I need the keys to my flat or something, you know? Hang on, right. What kind of animal broke the window handle? Well, I think we know. That's why I picked the wrench back up, isn't it? Brilliant. There we go. Okay, so I, in theory, could... Uh, oh, we're doing this now? We're doing this now. Fine. Okay. All right, well, we got some tools, maybe? What's I could this? have broken my legs. Well, you didn't, thankfully. Walter Sullivan. Okay, lovely name. Uh, security, yep. His overalls are just down there. Agent number. That was mentioned on his, uh, you know, reports and stuff as well. I wonder if that's important. Hang on. That looks like a flashlight. It's a square torch. Oh. Right. But it doesn't have a... It doesn't have a light bulb. Hold on. Yes. Yes, it does. I've got an ultraviolet torch. Check this out. Can I use it now? Hmm. Well, it's, it's ready to use. I guess when I'm ready to use it, I'll use it. Neat. Okay, so we don't want any more wrenches or saws, jumper cables. Okay, well, um, I I guess that's it. Right. Okay. Well, you know, I've got a UV torch now, so that's going to help when I'm looking for blood and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that at some point. Alright, so let's try this again. <laughs> I think there's going to be a few more doors on a few more floors to try in here. Oh, 
All right, so let's try floor two. There we are. So, A. Mm -mm. No. B. Okay, mm C. Mm -mm. Okay, come on, D. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she keeps making mistake after mistake after mistake. No, I don't live here. Oh, shit, I thought I lived here, but no, I don't. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'd probably try something like that as well. Okay, so floor three now. B? It's gonna be one of these. C? Wait, what? Oh shit, okay, for the first time! This is actually the only one I can listen to, and yes, it is the door to my place. Now I just need to find the keys. First of all... Okay, sounds good. It sounds like home. And that's it. So wait, you... No, no, they're your keys. Are you throwing them away? You idiot. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. For the other characters, I kind of get it, but for you, that makes no sense. Okay. I feel I just have to go through, you know, the rest. There could be something right up here on the landing. Or out the window. Oh, really? <laughs> All right, again. Mm -mm. One of these doors could just be unlocked, you know? Mm -mm. Or I could have found something in the wheelchair, maybe. Looks like I can't try C or D, but, you know, at least I know where to find another fire extinguisher. <laughs> right, it's time to go home. Is it still safe? Seems like it. I don't remember leaving the lights on. Lovely. Okay. Anyway, let's see how much of a mess the house was left in this time. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Alright, so we're starting off with what? Instructions on a mixture, apparently. Okay. Uh, Erica, come see me when you read this. I could not find the luminol. I believe it's inside your little cabinet, but you must have left the key in the pocket of some dirty trousers, as usual. When you find it, if I'm not here, come home and make the mixture as follows. So, 200ml of stabilizer, regardless of the end product amount, 1ml uh, of dimethyl sulfoxide, and 2ml of hy hydrogen peroxide, there you go, for each milligram of luminol. 50 ml of distilled water as a base, and another 50 ml if the total mixture is to be uh, more than half litre. When you have it all, put in the luminol. Equivalencies. Right, okay. Well, dimethyl sulfoxide. I don't have that. Uh, distilled water, I don't have that. And it, well, I don't have luminol. Hmm. Oh. A, B, C, and D. Okay. A and B are the same, and they're taps as well. Okay, well, this is going to come in handy later on. Back in the dark room, I assume. Okay, great. Um, so, fair enough. Three doors. Let's maybe start with this one here. I'm not sure. Maybe it's the music that's sort of throwing me off a little bit, but I'm hearing something. It might just be like the sort of raincoat she's wearing? I don't know. Can you hear that as well? Ah, oh, shit, I'm throwing myself off now. I mean, I've got a, I've got a hope. I don't want her to die at home. Shit, maybe... Oh, fuck. Try it. Oh, God, I'm alive. Ooh, okay. Alright, so I already know there's the toilet. I mean, I should. It's my fucking place. Um, <laughs> parties, holidays, concerts, so many memories. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so the toilet. Should we check out the toilet? 
I need to turn that fucking music off, man. It's throwing me for a loop. Okay, how was this? Oh, I locked the cabinet before I left. Now I need to find the key. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, well, I haven't got any keys at the moment. Um, right, another walk-in shower. But again, I don't want to use it. Don't want to use any of this stuff. Okay. Right, I'll come back with a key, hopefully. If I find the right one. <laughs> Got records on the wall there. Okay. Rose Labyrinth? Or the Rose Maze? It says Rose Labyrinth right there. One of the best sci-fi movies I've ever seen, but I guess they got the poster wrong. Or it's like the international release version, I don't know. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Ah, nice. See, I don't hear anything this time. Shit. Uh, oh, keys. <laughs> All of our keys conveniently organized by Dad. This will be interesting. Yeah, I'm sure it will. But I can refer to the document back and forth. Okay. Well. There's a load we need to ignore. And there's, I think it's maybe three. We need the three, the other three, right? For the storage rooms and the warehouses where we keep the lots of antiques. So we ignore the small gold key, round green plastic keys, round and triangular silver keys. Okay, all right. Well, I'll come back to this. I actually want to explore the rest of our apartment first. Can we turn the television off? Or oh, what's that? I put up mementos of some of my best stories from my holidays in Asia. Right. What's out the window? It's still pouring outside. It's so depressing. Wait, there's something on the bed. Ah, uh, notes, apparently. A ghost? Monster? Demon? My own insanity? She needs to leave this place. In my home, inside the walls, all over the building. Wherever I go. The photographs, they can't be real. Is it me? Where's Simon? Cannot get in anymore. There's something underground. Show them to Erica when she comes back. Do not go downstairs. Huh, that stain looks like a, a human. Interesting. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Dad? What the hell is this? Where are you? Uh-huh. Yeah, right. The cabinet key. Oh! Oh, God. I see cutscene, I think death. I, I don't think that's ever going to change, but... It's not here. Where the hell did I put it? In a pair of pants? Maybe. Uh, well, I guess maybe there's other places to check, right? Um, I'll come back to this later. I want to check out the other rooms. Okay. So, this one here. Yeah, I think it's like the creaking of the coat I'm hearing occasionally, or at least I hope so. Okay. What have we got here? Is that War of Mars? Zombie? Dracula? Okay. Another guitar. Mm, if only you could... Oh, check this out. Oh, it's a scorpion. Okay, I was wondering what sort of pet you had. No one understands you, little guy. Can I... Uh... Let's see. Wait, did, oh, there we go, there's the pet food. I can't think of how to use it. Wait, I can? Unless, well, I don't know, maybe there's something else. Oh! Oh, okay. That doesn't look precious to me, but I'm going to want that token, right? Ah, so we use it with this one. Okay. She likes to feast in private, so she goes in. And I grab the token. A gold one! Okay! Great! Fantastic. Um, there's a book up here, it looks like. My favourite horror stories of all time. I 
think we might be done here, to be honest. So, apart from the token, I don't think there's much to have a look at. Woo! I feel sorry for the scorpion. It doesn't get to eat anything. <laughs> um, okay, so there's still... Yeah, there's still two doors that I haven't actually been through in my flat. How long have I been playing? Right, I'm going to have to call an end to this video at some point, but... Let's just keep exploring the rest of the flat. Maybe I'll get on with the key puzzle, but yeah, I don't know. It's fine. It's probably fine. You're probably dead. No, good. I'm wrong. <laughs> okay. Oh, more clothes? Some of these aren't even mine. Hello, hello. What do we got here? <laughs> Maybe I'm going to find the key. Or maybe not. No, they didn't sound like the sounds of success, so I'll have to keep looking. Um, and I think that's it. We're out of here. So there's these sort of double doors over here. Right, yeah, haven't been through here before. Yeah, I, I, I just hear the coat, I think. It's safe. It's safe enough, anyway. Look at that jukebox. Death Metal Jukebox, as my friend Patty likes to call it. It's the Dracula poster. According to me, I wear the pants in our relationship. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I bet it is. Got some old film reels, it looks like. Huh. Okay, it looks like there's some more clothes maybe to dig through. Yeah. Come on, Erica. Find that key. <laughs> have to keep looking. Well, I guess I'm going to find it at some point. But uh, I might have to wait because I might play some first shoot. Oh. Can I? Nah, that's asking too much of this game, I think. Oh, please throw that pizza out. Can you comment on it? Okay, well, at least she thought about it, but she forgot about it, for fuck's sake. Oh, man. Uh, okay. Are we checking the fridge here, or...? I'm not stopping until I find that key. Oh no, no, more more clothes just down here in the kitchen as well. God damn. Oh, I've got to hope it's here, because where else is it going to be? Great, okay. <laughs> Me too, actually. Or that you just have to search everywhere around the flat, only to find that the key was sitting in your back pocket all along. Alright, I got it. So I guess I could go back to the bathroom and use it on the cabinet. Yes, Dad, I'm a mess. Well, yeah, you don't need to tell me that. Alright. So what's this on the end here? The wine. Oh, my plant's dead. Damn it, Dad. Yeah, he had other things to worry about, obviously. Okay. So that's it, right? We've checked out all of the flat. Hmm, okay. Well, let's go into the second bathroom, I guess. And let's see if we can use that cabinet key. It seems I'm fairly comfortable at home, actually. After listening and going through the door once, I don't have to do it again. Yeah. Okay, so this is the right one, yeah? Good. Oh, and the luminol's here! Right, yes! Huh. Luminol. Supposedly, this should help me spot old bloodstains, right? Now. Well, I, I, I was going to say, maybe I put it in the spray bottle, but I don't think that's going to work, because I think I actually need to mix that with the peroxide and... Well, a couple of other things that I don't have yet. Okay. Um. So, before we leave, we have a key issue, don't we? We need those three keys. So, we need to eliminate quite a few options. Uh, 
Alright, so. Forget the right hand column. Colored metal keys, square gold keys, round and triangular silver keys, round green plastic, and the small gold key. The three that remain, they're the three that we want. But I think this is actually something I'll get on with in between videos. So for now, thank you very much for watching part four of Song of Horror. Hope you're still enjoying it, and I hope to see you back in part five. Erica is still alive. I know, I'm as surprised as you are, believe me. If not more so. It's a bit of a miracle, especially considering how sort of stiff the triggers are on this controller. It's a bit of a miracle that I got through the uh, the silence minigame twice. Maybe the third time, maybe that's going to be it. I don't know. I don't think she's long for this world. But let's not think like that. Maybe she's going to be the one to, you know, find the right keys. Maybe she's going to concoct this chemical mixture. She's going to use the UV light. She's going to follow the bloodstains. Or maybe not. We'll find out next time. See you then. I don't need to listen, holy shit. I don't see anything. Which is quite alarming. Why is this covered? Should I take the blanket off? Oh, why do you ask me these really hard questions? <laughs> shit. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it's a note from me. To me. Notices for the neighbors in block two. They look a bit old. The neighbors on the notices. I must have gotten used to this, but all my friends get scared here at night. Well, you know what? I'm starting to as well. Funny that. Why? Why are you freaking out? Uh, oh, look at that. How convenient. And then the sixth wheel, I can't write it in Roman numerals. It could be... Uh -huh. Zero. Never again. <gasps> God damn. No! Oh, Jesus Christ. <gasps> that was so close to being opened. Oh, God. That one spins by itself. That one spins that. And oh man, that one. That one sucks. What Hang on. The hell? What? Oh, it's getting freezing. What the fuck? The <laughs> oh shit! I fucking hate this room. I hate this apartment. I hate this flat. Fuck this place. No, 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 I don't think so. I, I hear something. What the? And I'm seeing things too. Oh, come on. I hope one of these characters eventually is going to be a pianist and actually do Moonlight Sinatra or something. Well, not anymore. What? what? Hang on, what's going on? I don't know if I'm safe here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so I, in theory, could... Uh, oh, we're doing this now? We're doing this now. And that's it. So wait, you... No, no, they're your keys. Are you throwing them away? You idiot. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Shit, maybe... Oh, fuck. Try it. Oh, God, I'm alive. Uh, oh, keys. <laughs> it's fine. It's probably fine. You're probably dead. No, good. I'm wrong. 